What's going on everybody? It's your boy Terrence Gibson here with a totally different video than my regular marketing and Bitcoin videos. See my beautiful daughter over there getting busy with the cake. <laughs> Alright, well it's one of those days when you know you're trying to chill and go outside and enjoy the beautiful fall. Or maybe you don't want to go outside. Maybe you just want to sit by the fireplace and just chill. But <laughs> Lo and behold, you're in the kitchen, listen to some old 90s hits, you know, stuff that don't disrespect nobody, no cussing, no disrespecting women, um, and you go into the sink, and then you notice you got a drip, so, this is the situation that I'm at right now, i have taking these apart, I've got my little uh, handy dandy bowl down there to catch any type of water, because the dishwasher was running, <laughs> I have to start that back up. And then you have the dilemma of having dishes that need to be cleaned, but you can't clean them because the sink start leaking around its edges. So what happened is the putty came loose. So what I'm going to do is show you real quick how I'm doing what I'm doing. So I had to go to Home Depot and I got this tool. It's called the Basket Strainer Wrench. Let's see if you can see that real good. Yeah, Basket Strainer Wrench. And I'm going to let you see what it looks like real quick if I can find it. Right here. This is what you need. What it does, it goes in the bottom of the strainer. And it hooks in so that you can be able to take this nut. Well, this is the bottom part of this. I'll show you that in a second. But you can take this nut. Where is this nut? Okay, this is the putty real quick while I'm looking for the nut. Plumber's putty. You can take, oh, here we go, right here. So you can take this nut that takes, Lord knows how long to get off. It's so strong and it's on there so well that you have to use this wrench and that basket wrench together. Oh, they jamming, ain't they? To make this work. What's up, pretty girl? Yeah. You're on my video. Oh, okay, see my girl coming to show me her good grades? Okay. B A A A. <laughs> we ain't nothing but killers around here, you know what I'm saying? They know they better have their stuff right. And that's my baby baby, my young baby. Oh, I'm about to say, who was that talking? Well, this is the video is playing in the background. Some of the videos are a little different, even though you know I respect the music. Um, so I leave the screen off and I just listen to the music it's on YouTube. Um Okay, so this is my situation. This was plain. I took some of that putty. I rolled it together because it's real easy to roll this putty together. Remember, this is the putty that you need to get. This is the putty. I'm not advertising and getting paid for it, but this is what you need. There's two versions in Home Depot, but get this version. One that says stain free. So when it get on the metal part of your um, sink, that is easy to come off. Other than the version that's $2 cheaper, that won't come off. Okay, so so now at this point, what I'm going to do with this is since I'm just showing you this wrench, I'm going to take this and I'm going to fix it back to the sink and I'm going to push it in real hard. Let's see, since I already got so much on that side, I'm going to push it in. And you want it to be to the point where, ah, well, when you're pushing it, that... It's coming out on the sides because that's what you want. <laughs> and let you know that it's sealing down here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this wrench and stick it under the bottom because I need to connect this part back to the bottom of this. And I need to put this hard nut back on here that was killing me in the first place when it was hard to try to figure out how to actually get it off. You know what I'm saying? All right, so, so we come around here to the pipes off beautifully take it apart can you see yeah y'all can see so i took this apart it's pretty easy i mean i'm not a plumber at all <laughs> so you see i'm pushing this back up and i'm pulling on this because i want that to seal and this to seal together right and this is the nut I have to tighten back up. And put that back on. I need to 
probably just see how good it can be if I just use my hand. Because, man, it took all the life out of me. Let's see if I can leave this like that. Yeah. I'm using my iPhone to, uh, to film this, so excuse the, the moving around in the camera. There we go. So you pretty much can see. Yep, there you go. Okay. So, I'm trying to see how well. See, now I want to put the wrench because if I don't put the wrench in there and I keep turning that knob, it's going to start moving the putty around. And then I'm going to have to start all over. So at this point, so you got the wrench and the little wrench piece. And make sure you got the settings because the settings on the bottom are totally different. That's one setting, that's the other setting. So you find the one that goes in the bottom of your chain. And that one locks in. And then you just take this. Oh yeah, they jamming. There's seven of us in here, so you know, it's good to go ahead and get these things fixed when it's time to fix it. Because, man, the traffic be flowing up in here. So, I hold this. And, and as you see, as I'm tight, tighten it. You can see the ceiling starting to come around on the sides. So now, since it's starting to get tighter, I'm applying pressure both ways on the wrench and the wrench clamp. Okay. And if you can see, if I get my hand out of the way, the putty starting to come from the bottom. Uh, my bad, I'm trying to hold this and not dance at the same time because Usher is killing it. So, wait to up to the top. Should be coming, yep, out the top too. What we're going to do is... Just cut this piece around, leave it with, you know, obviously what's in there out. But this is supposed to be wasted anyway. Well, actually, since it's not wet, just in case this one right here starts acting up, which is still pretty good, I can go ahead and hold it and see it's pretty sturdy. Yeah, pretty sturdy now. I take this piece that I took from there and stick it back in here. <laughs> I got plenty of it left. Only reason why is only this amount left because I tried before, tried to rig it from the bottom, didn't work. Don't try to rig that. Just do it the right way. Um, I this video only eight minutes. Thought it would take a lot longer so far. So that's light. That's tight. I'm not going to worry about the bottom part. I'm just going to leave that hanging from there. Because it's not going to affect anything. And then from there, it's just it's just all piecing together. Let's see. Let me get you a good, a good view. Yeah. Perfect. Move some of these cleaners out the way. Oh, good view. So, take this. Bring this pipe back over here. Well, one thing you gotta want to make sure that you, your clamps are on correctly because they'll start screwing. And then when you get 75% done, you'll notice that it's crooked. Let's see. 
kind of do this from the side so I can show the video. But it doesn't look crooked. It looks pretty good to me. And these are pretty good, so just tighten it to the you know the point where it stops moving. Because it's a good seal because the water is really not coming through this nut, it's coming through this pipe that's in there, and it's not gonna actually go back up unless you got a clog. So you can hand tighten it. And then you take this plug. You know what? Yeah, I can do this one first. I'll tighten this one up. And then from here, just keep tightening, tightening. Hand tighten because I don't want to move that. And then this piece, can you see this piece? Yeah. This piece is the one that's a little bit more stubborn after you get to the bottom. So what you do is you pull it down a little bit. You want this top to actually come down so it can fasten right on top of it. Because once again, you can hand tighten this and you don't have to worry about the water coming out unless you got a clog. Because this part right here, the water comes through this part of the valve, from both valves, and from the um, dishwasher, which is plugged up right over here. And they all just come through. So, I hand tighten that. And the putty, which is good, is, is a quick fix because the putty is going to stay wet. It's never going to harden or dry to the point where it's dry. So, let's see. Got a little bit of water in here. I'll go ahead and pour it through. And look. Dry. Because what it was doing, it was leaking from the top. But since I tighten that up, I don't have to worry about it, but you know, just push it. Form a little barrier around the sides. I'm not a plumber, so this is just the way I'm doing it, making it easier on people like me who don't like to spend money when you can use your own talents. Save money. I like my money in my bank account or in my wife's purse. My wife's purse is in my bank account because I know she's going to see this video, so I always got to represent it. So now... For the trying of the test of times. Oh, trying to turn the water on. I mean, turn it. Yeah, first part I did was I turned these valves off. So, put the valve, I had a valve right here, a valve back here, and a valve over here. Three valves. The water's running. And now we're going to look for the pan. See how good of a job they did. Turn this light on so you can see the buddy, the big dog. Oh, that's not good. I meant to turn the light on. I turn the light off. All right. See, water going in, not dripping down in the pan. Water going in to the same spot where this was raggedy and. Going through the cracks right here where the stuff is, so I just let this gradually come off. Cause you know if you, I'll take some of it off. But if you take it off all the way, then it, you know it takes away the barrier it has, and then sooner or later it's gonna start doing the same problem again. And it usually comes from when you know using these. When you put them in, just put them in. And I'm gonna clean that out too. Uh, little carrot residue. When you put them in, you just put them in. And you don't have to be twisting it while it's in there. And that's how you get that problem. Or the one with the little metal piece at the bottom. You don't have to just twist it. And then, like you can see, it's working great. Water. No water. Clean. Matter of fact, let's do this. Clean. Got the pieces of the... That fell, but other than that, it's good. 
see. No residue. Because before you see a big old drip just forming right here. No drip forming. But you see as close as possible. You don't see no drip forming. It's good. That's the seal. It's good. And once again, this is my my oldest order that went with me to go to Home Depot to get the stuff. <laughs> She's the son I never, I always wanted. <laughs> She's the son I always wanted. It's kind of funny you tell boys about stuff like that. We don't want to know you, dude. Where's the video games at? But she's like, Dad, what's the hard stuff? I want the easy stuff. Show me the hard stuff. I want to outdo my husband when I grow up. And you know what I'm saying? I, I, my baby's going to be resourceful. Whoever's uh, blessed enough to find them, they going to be whew, blessed beyond their wildest dreams. I'm just cleaning up the residue of water from earlier. I'll set this stuff back up. And now I can turn the dishwasher back on. Back on. And then we can get back to business as usual. This is your boy Terrence Gibson. Uh, he's caulking on my face. Saying what's up. And uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Check out the rest of my channel. If you don't know about Bitcoin, it's all on my channel. Check it out. It's your boy Terrence Gibson. We're going to do some more DIY. I guess a little too soon. A lot of stuff is new. But as it goes, we're going to go and do videos. All right. Have a blessed one.